Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to match everything but letters and numbers. Uh, you've learned that you can use short you can use a shortcut to match alphanumerics using the forward slash w. A natural pattern you might want to search for is the opposite of alph alphanumeric numbers. You can search for the opposite of the forward slash w with forward slash capital W. Note the opposite pattern uses a capital letter. With this shortcut is the same as using as going like this, which is the caret that we re re learned from earlier. Remember that was the caret to the negate form. So it's like match everything except for capital A through Z, lowercase a through Z, zero through nine, and the underscore. Uh, here it looks like they're just going to do the same thing. Capital W. So they're saying um, match all non-numerical, non-alphanumeric characters. So in this one, there's going to be one uh, alphanumeric character, so the, the percentage sign. And then so when we go numbers.match.shorthand, which is this reg regular expression, we're going to return an array with a, a, a percentage sign in it. And then the same thing here, we're going to return an array with a exclamation point in it. We want to use shorthand character class to count the number of non-alphanumeric characters in various quotes and string quote sample, the five boxing. So in this one, we're going to get spaces and periods, right? So it's just like the last one. Um, we're going to go forward slash W. Um, and then I, as always, I want to console.log the result because I want to be able to see what I'm working with. So we've got a one here. Now, this one should have one, two, three, four, five, six non-alphanumeric non characters because there's six space there's five spaces and a period and so what we're doing is we're just matching the first one if we were to remove the length from the result we would see that we've got a single space and what does that tell us the regular expression is just picking up the first one and it's not picking up the rest so what we need to do is flag it globally and then we'll get an array of one two three four five and then the sixth is a period, five spaces and a period. And so if we get the length of that, then we've got six elements in that array. So if we run the tests, I think it'll pass. Um, I wanted to just go over an example. This isn't a great example, but what about if there was a, I'm gonna get rid of the length here. I just wanna show an example of, um, say it's just exclamation points, right? This is gonna show up that many times. Oh yeah, that was the thing that we were talking about in the last lesson. Like if you were to do a plus here, you just get the array of there. And then if we had A uh, underscores and then uh, some more exclamation points, these are all alphanumeric characters. So with the plus in here, we're gonna get two, an array with a length of two that does that. Now this is just, I'm just kind of trying to point out the way that this works uh, to kind of detail it better for you. So um, yeah. But with this one, we're getting the length. And I think if we run the test, they'll pass. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.